it's so hot at the moment. It's, it's about 30 degrees Celsius. And it's midnight. So it is extremely hot. just make another recording just to pass the time and to get into a, a state of relaxation assignment or something and you just can't the ideas aren't coming to you so what I was doing was um, I just closed my eyes relaxed for a few seconds and then started to write whatever came into my mind. I thought about a, a theme, which in my instance was uh, the city of New York, and just the culture that goes on there. I'm really um, interested in New York as a city at the moment, so a lot of the things I'll be talking about reflects my experience of that city and uh, my preconceived ideas of it before I went there and my impressions of um, what I experienced there because it all comes back into my writing and drawings. So, um, what else? So yeah, I just, I close my eyes and just start writing just a sentence at a time whatever image comes into my head. So, I just, I mean, it doesn't have to even make sense. It's just to get your mind going and the ideas start to come. So you, you condition your mind to, when you have a pen and paper in front of you, your mind has to start giving you ideas in order to, for things to work. That's how I see it. And from a lot of um, self-help things, um, they've spoken about that as well. I even uh, saw a video by this um, a writer named Jürgen Wolf and um, he said that 
to get past Rider's Block. You can even picture your your rider, your blockage as an entity. It could be anything. It could be a shape or something, or a person or something like that. And then you question your, you question that thing, and it will have to give you back some answers. This might all sound pretty um, you know, trippy to people not who aren't writing or stuff like that. ideas or solutions or something sometime soon. So I think writers coming overcoming writer's block is a, a very common issue that isn't really well understood or documented. Like, I think it causes frustration and and uh, they're not really helpful for the creative process. I thought that um, to write emotional stuff or anger, themes about anger or something, that you have to be in that actual mood to, um, to write about that stuff, but it's, it's nothing like that, I mean, you're not going to write something down when you want to hit someone, or you're not going to want to write a, a story after you've um, been punched in the face, so the skill is really to um, look back at experience and um, times in your life when you have experienced stuff like that and then draw on those experiences in coming up with um, mood and themes in your writing. I hope this um, this video was um, soothing for you, and uh, I hope it cools down here because I can't stand the heat. You know, summer in Australia, particularly Western Australia, is unbearable unless you go to the beach every day. It's, um, you feel pretty disgusting and sweaty and hot all the time, so you don't really feel like doing anything. Summer is my least favorite month, uh, season, sorry. Just because it, um, limits you in what you can do during the day, unless you want to get burnt. You can't really go outside for longer than a few minutes. It's kind of a pain. But then again, I'd probably complain about the cold if I lived in Alaska or something like that. It's just that where I live is you get a summer is uh, rather predominant and hot temperatures are a, th a commonality of living here. Okay, thanks a lot. Good night.